Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today and welcome to the home of FIFA Career Mode hints, tips and news. If you are new to the channel and you do go on to enjoy this video, it really is a no brainer to hit that subscribe button. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. And if you want daily FIFA Career Gems content or you just want to get in touch, then why not head over to either my Twitter or Instagram. In today's video, we will be looking through the Career Mode squad update highlights from the 6th of January. But just a reminder to access any of the features included in today's video, you will need to start a brand new FIFA 21 career mode with the downloaded latest squads. And we'll start off by looking at a few new players that were added to the career mode database, starting off with Tino Anjurin of Chelsea, who is 18 years of age, 57 overall, potential of 77, which will easily go higher with dynamic potential, and he is available to sign in the first transfer window for around half a million. Staying in the Premier League with the next new player who is Miguel Aziz from Arsenal. He's a central midfielder, 17 years of age, 60 overall, potential of 77, 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, available to pick up in the first transfer window for our 550k. Tim Sevilla from Augsburg, he's a central midfielder, 18 years of age, with 2 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. He has a starting overall of 59, a potential of 80, but he's not available to pick up in the first window. Kaelin Pepescu from FC Adad in Romania, he's a right midfielder or central midfielder, 18 years of age, 57 overall, potential of 80, but he's not available to pick up in the first transfer window. Victor Jensen from Ajax, who can play central attacking midfield or central midfield, is 20 years of age, 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 65 overall, potential of 80, you can sign him straight away for around 1.5 million. But the highest potential new player added in the latest update is Maury Bamba from Roma, who's a right winger, 18 years of age, with 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 61 overall, potential of 81, sadly not available to sign in the first transfer window. So now we move on to players that have had their ratings changed. Starting off with Cagliari right back Gabriel Zappa, who's had a plus 2 overall upgrade to 65 and a plus 2 potential upgrade up to 80. Lanus goalkeeper Latoro Morales has had an overall upgrade of plus 3 and a potential upgrade of plus 3. Teenage Monaco striker Pietro Pellegri has had a plus one overall and a plus one potential upgrade. Potential is now 81. Chelsea midfielder who's on loan at Lorient in season number one, Trevor Shalaba. He's had his potential and overall increased by plus one. His potential is now 81. Torino centre-back Bremer has had a plus two overall and a plus two potential upgrade. Potential is now 82. Arsenal teenage striker following Balagon has had his overall increased by plus two and his potential increased by plus two up to 82. One of my personal favourite wonder kids from FIFA 19 was Lucien Agume and this week his overall and potential have both been increased by plus one, his new potential is 82. Franco Orozco from Club Lanús in Argentina has had a plus two overall and a plus two potential upgrade, his new potential is 83. David Turnbull from Celtic has had a plus one overall and a plus one potential increase. His new potential is 83. Burnley's Dwight McNeil has had a minus one overall and a minus two potential downgrade. His new potential is 83. Wolfsburg right back Riedel Baku has had a plus two overall increase and a plus one potential increase. His new potential is 83. Shakhtar Donetsk right midfielder Manor Solomon has had his overall increased by a plus 1 to 75, but his potential cut by 1 down to 85. Leicester City's impressive centre-back Wesley Fofana has seen his overall increased by a plus 1 up to 74. Career mode favourite for the last few editions of FIFA, Leon Bailey, has seen his overall and potential increased by a plus 1. His new potential is 86. AC Milan left back Theo Hernandez has had a plus one overall and a plus one potential upgrade. His new overall is 81, his new potential is 86. Liverpool forward Diogo Jota has seen his overall increase by plus one to 81 and his potential increase by one up to 87. 
Career mode favourite Lanos winger Pedro de la Vega has had a plus two overall upgrade and a plus two potential upgrade. He's a new exciting prospect with a potential of 87. 17 year old rapid Vienna midfielder Yusuf Demir has had a plus one overall and a plus one potential upgrade. His new potential is 87. But the biggest rating upgrade this week is for Darwin Nunez from Benfica, who sees his overall increase by a plus three up to 75 and his potential increased by a massive plus five up to an exciting prospect, 87. I don't quite know what teenage wonder kid from Bayer Leverkusen and Florian Wirtz has done to deserve a minus one potential downgrade. His new potential, 87. Spurs midfielder Tangay Ndombele sees his overall increase by a plus one up to 81 and his potential increase by one up to 88. Now the final three players on the list are all some of the highest potential players in FIFA 21 career mode. Starting off with Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr sees his potential cut by two down to 91. Dortmund and England winger Jadon Sancho has had his overall cut by 1 to 86 and his potential cut by 1 down to 92. And finally, after some indifferent performances for Chelsea, Kai Havertz sees his overall cut by 1 down to 84 and his potential downgraded by 1 down to 92. So those were the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 6th of January 2021. So that does conclude today's video. All that remains to say is thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune into my channel next time. But for today, it's FCG out.